This is gonna be, whoa, whoa, sorry for that. Okay, got it on a tripod, cuz, oh baby. I'm gonna wait for a couple people to get in here. Oh, it's all crooked. It's all crooked. All right, so today, about 10 minutes ago, the UPS driver came driving up the street and dropped off two boxes. And inside these boxes, this one's got batteries. And this one has a new bike. It's a Spark Bandit. At least I think it is. So, let's start with the little box, because if it is batteries, I'd like to get it on the charger as soon as possible. But this, this big box, let me tell you, it took two dudes a lot of strength to get it off the bike, or off the, uh, off of the truck. All right, right off the bat. Okay. Battery one. Battery one. Oh, baby. So, a little context. I actually have ridden three or four different bandits uh, and a mountaineer when I was out in Connecticut. Uh, so, I have ridden him, but I have not ridden this one. Uh, I'm not exactly sure everything going on with this one. Oh, there's the keys. That's the charger. Okay, so we're gonna have to get this baby on the charge. I don't know, maybe it's already charging. Good job, buddy. First place, my son got first place in Fortnite again. Okay, so we're gonna get that thing charging. I'm not sure. I think I'm gonna need to use these bolt cutters. Uh, if you see, the box has like this metal. Uh, is there anything else in here? You guys gotta look. Oh yeah, look. Some, uh, some of these things. <laughs> a manual. There's a manual. And, uh, I got a screw. <laughs> I got a screw. There's one screw. Interesting. Okay. So, let's get this stuff out of the way. Because we all want to see what's in the big box. Batteries are cool, but bikes... I guess... Bikes don't work without batteries. I don't know, I'm gonna try with these. It's like this metal stuff on here, I think. It's not really, or maybe this will work better. I got all my tools out today, guys. Okay, oh yeah, there we go. Let me just say, first off, that I'm super excited and thank you to Matt and uh, Colin over at Spark for sending this baby out. Oh my God. You could probably put two dead bodies in that thing. That is very heavy. Okay, you guys ready? Should I open it? Should I open it now? Ready? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Oh, baby. The excitement's real, see? <laughs> so they actually they've been like putting this wood stuff to help to uh, secure to secure it in transit so it doesn't get banged up as much, but see all that stuff? <laughs> Here, let me see if I can turn the camera around. I don't do a whole lot of lives, so oh, there's the car. And sorry about the jiggling, I'm gonna get this. There we go. Okay. Hard to move a camera or phone when it's on a tripod. I'm using my phone, obviously. Okay. Without it jiggling. I don't really know where to start, I guess. With an envelope that my name on it. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, sweet. So, it, so their stuff is um, they they can make um, vins in a vin like a vin number, and then this would just go on the bike so that it makes it legal. Now in Connecticut, all you need to do is put this on your bike, and you're done. And it's and it's legal. It's street legal. Uh, in California, we got to go to the DMV, and wait in line, and you know all the fun stuff in the DMV. The packaging, the packaging is pretty insanely smart. I mean, it's like little pieces of wood or cardboard strategically placed throughout. Oh, so if you guys don't know what this is all about, this is um what's called the traveling bandit. And it's basically going to be going from Connecticut to Southern California, where it is now. And I'm going to put on some different shocks on the rear, uh, which I've never done before, but I will do. And I will film it, and we can all learn together. And then it's going to get passed on to somebody else who's going to change handlebars, which is funny because actually I know how to change handlebars and stuff. But anyways, and then... Uh, might be passed on to another couple of creators and then um shh, don't tell anybody but i'm gonna try to uh, have it not shipped back to them <laughs> so i'm gonna try to acquire it acquire it uh, at the end here oh my goodness what is this what is this how do i get this out okay that that's one heck of a piece of cardboard <laughs> it's like a honeycomb okay need the razor blade so i have the camera turned around so i can't see any comments but uh if you guys have anything to say leave it there and as soon as i get done getting this baby out i will try to respond to y'all I know it's been a long time since I posted a video on YouTube, uh, besides my little short video I did the other day. It's just been an extremely busy time, uh, but no more excuses. I got this bike, and I have a Huck video, and I got two Super 73 OG videos, and I have a new Tesla um, dashboard, like a carbon fiber full-on dashboard coming so I'm gonna put up that one why is it in there so good <laughs> get out there we go oh. okay a box within a box can you guys see that here I'll put it right here so we can see it better Plastic metal things are keep making noise. Okay. A box within a box. Ooh. I like goodies. Pedals. Yep, I'm gonna have to put those on. This uh, doesn't say anything. This is a, oh. Another charger. Because obviously, oh, not obviously, but if you didn't know, this is a dual battery bandit. So there's going to be two batteries. So, get them, guys. Oh, wow. This is great news. If you guys didn't know, you push a little button. Can, how do I do it so you guys can see it? Full charge. Full charge on one of the two. So that means we'll be riding this baby right away. I have a full review coming about it. Um, I know I did ride one out there, but it's a lot different riding it out here. Pegs, mirrors, and charger. I love how they put like these little stickers that tell you what's inside each box. And it's very awesome. Uh, I, I'm, I know I probably should like give a little more warning when I'm gonna go live so some people can like, you know, actually join. I kind of just, it's always kind of spontaneous and I just kind of go, Oh, I'm gonna go live now. Today I was just basically waiting for the UPS guy to come up the street. Mirrors, so put those guys aside. And pigs, pigs, comes with pigs. This bike basically comes with, I believe, everything out. Rear view, mirrors, you got your brake, 
I think it comes with a blinkers. Oh yeah, front and rear blinkers or signals. Headlight and turn signals. And then it says, already on. Already on? So what's in here? Extras. Extra extras? Oh yeah, so basically the first time I ever saw a Bandit, um, I believe it was on Shreddy McScape's channel. Shout out to Shreddy, by the way. And the one thing that made that thing stand out, obviously the bike definitely looks different than a lot of the other e-bikes on the market, but that, the dual front headlights. That's just mean, right? Just looks dope. I mean, you can put it however way you want. It looks cool, it looks awesome. Yeah, so I love the dual headlights. I know some people want to put some big like motorcycle looking headlight on it. I like the dual, personally. All right. Aha. Wow. Okay. Second battery. Hey. This is crazy. Oh, another set of keys. I should make sure I don't mix them up. Okay, so these one, these one, this one is Fully charged. That is great news. Great news. Okay. Now that I have stuff everywhere. Anyways, I'm also filming this to put into the beginning of my review video and whatnot. So um, I'm live and I will be uh, making some videos on the bandit. Anybody see Dylan got the, um, did anybody else see that Dylan Thompson got that friggin' <laughs> the bus that he's going to start rolling around in? I think, I think, I think that's super cool. We talked about it for a while, but, oh, what's up? That's what's up. Thank you, shout out to Spark. It's a cool shirt. All right. Ooh, this is the toolkit thingy thing. I think Carson just got this or won it in a contest. How do I show this to you guys without dumping it all over the floor? It's basically like a first aid kit <laughs> for your bike. But the cool thing about their set setup is that it has this little um, like situation down here underneath, uh, next to the crank area. And that is like a storage area where I think that can go. And then, oh boy. Okay, so this is what I have to do. And I say this is what I have to do, and I don't even know how to do it, but, wow. Look at these puppies. Those are the rear shocks. This is the shocks that I'm going to be uh, installing. And like I said, I've never, I've never done that before. I actually saw Matt do it when we were um, out there. We did a bunch of live videos with Shreddy and Matt and Colin and Teo. Shout out to Teo if you're watching Teo. Um, and they, they replaced the shocks in like 10 minutes on Shreddy's bike. They put the gold ones on and I was shocked. Matt was just down there. So uh, I don't think it's going to take me 10 minutes, but it should be fun. Okay. All right. Oh, okay, so. Oh. Good, the handlebars have everything attached already. Okay. Now, let's try to get this thing out of here without me cutting my arm off. Because then I couldn't ride it as easily if I cut my arm off. Okay, all right. Oh, it's much lighter than when everything else in the box is in the box. Okay, so it to me it's... I'm not gonna start doing all these comparisons and stuff. Super 73 to me is an electric bicycle. Huck Cycles, uh, Suron, uh, Onyx, those are um, electric motorcycles. And then this is an electric moped. Uh, and, and that's just my personal opinion, but so it's hard to compare, like what's better? It's all personal preference and the price um, of each is different. What is going on here? Okay. Not going to stand up on its own yet. 
Okay, so anyways, let's try to get... <laughs> this is a comedy show, I'm sure, for you guys watching me try to... Stay. Okay, stay. The last thing I want to do is break a bike that I barely even took out of a box. The wheels on here are super cool. They're the V-Tires, V-Tire Company. I'm not sure um, what you call them, but they're... Okay, I'll get it a little closer. I hate how it shakes when I touch it, but... Okay, so here's the tires. The V-Tire, V-Tire Co. And front shocks, the handlebars are here. They just have to be attached up there. This part is where the other battery goes. So, battery one, and then battery two will go down here onto that bracket. So, one, two. Um, and then the shocks that I'll be changing out, I'll be switching out these these are the shocks that are on there. They're not piggybacks. I, I don't know all the technical stuff about shocks and whatnot, but that's what the shocks look like now. And that's what the shocks are gonna look like. They just look way, way beefier. Oh, I'm so stoked. I have a bandit in California. Well, I'm sure there's more than one because I think I saw one actually at the Halloween ride. And some guy in San Diego just told me he got one recently. But yeah. I'm gonna put this baby together and take it for a ride. It's funny, I talked about having a bandit out here to do um, some videos on quite a while ago when I was out in the East Coast and it's now happening. It's now here, so. You know, I'm new to this whole thing. I don't know how to um, see, oh, there I am, see if there's any chats i can't reply to anybody because i don't know where to do that and i apologize but anyways yeah so they have the same kind of um blinkers that my huck did so that if you bump into it it doesn't it doesn't um break it right off it kind of has like a little bit of give to it which is great super helpful and i think their ones in the back are the same yep i'm really stoked that they went with these uh, oh, I see. Wow, they make it super easy. So because there's more to it, like when you get a Super 73, you roll it out, uh, you put the handlebars on, and then you put the wheels on. It's basically what you do at this, um, at this point, uh, handlebars and, the, not the wheels, put the, um, the pedals on. There's just a little bit more to it because there's more to it, like the, um, the blinkers. Turn signals, I don't know, wherever you guys live specifically, you guys are, what are you calling them blinkers for? We call them blinkers out here, at least I do. And, okay. Don't want to scratch anything. Oh boy. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I'm pretty freaking excited about this thing. All right. Let me know in the chat if any of you guys have not heard of Spark Cycle Works out of Brantford, Connecticut. Let me know if this is the first time you've heard of a Spark Bandit. They make another awesome bike called the Mountaineer, which uh, I had the pleasure to ride. It's basically an electric um, mountain bike that I think it only goes 20 miles an hour, which I say only, but that thing rips. And <laughs> going 20 miles an hour or so uh, when you're in the dirt, uh, going through trees, let me tell you, it definitely, definitely feels faster. Okay, next part. That's off, that's off. All in all, for this thing to be shipped from the East Coast, I think they shipped it seven days ago or eight days ago, like, yeah, seven, I think it was like last Friday. And it got here in seven days. And honestly, I think it came in really good condition. The box wasn't damaged that much at all. Uh, 
I've seen some people get their supers that come super damaged, but you know, every company has to work out the kinks with the shipping, who they use for shipping. Okay, rear blinkers are set. So what's the difference between an electric bike and a moped? Okay, uh, I'm not the person that's gonna give you the actual technical answer, but from my knowledge, um, a moped is gonna go a little bit faster. It's gonna have the ability to have a VIN number uh, to be registered to you know, be more legal uh, because it goes faster. An electric bike uh, should fall in between the electric bike class one, two, and three uh, areas. So that way it won't need to be registered per se because it is a bicycle and this is not considered a bicycle even though it has pedals. Um, I think that they may not do it yet, but they're talking about doing like basically just a straight bar that comes out where the pegs are. So you just put your feet on it, just ride it like kind of like a normal moped, a gas moped. And uh, sorry if you guys are hearing all the sirens. We live about, I don't know, half a mile away from a fire station. So. Killed my blade. It's not. There we go. Alright. It's almost all unpacked. It's funny, I guess Shreddy really is the influential person on me. The first time I saw a uh, Huck cycle was on Shreddy's channel. And then I ended up buying a Huck. Uh, shout out to Brett. And the first time I saw a Spark was on Shreddy's channel. <laughs> and now I've got a Spark, at least for right now. Okay, is there any more? All right, all right, all right. That's different, okay. Wow, this has got a lot of stuff going on here. <laughs> what in the world? Okay, zip tie. Good thing there's a fire station half a mile away. In case I want to cut my finger. There we go. Shimano, Shimano brakes, or no, that's the gears. Okay, yeah, this comes with a, I believe it's a seven speed uh, uh, gear system installed. So you have gears right off the bat. Uh, you can switch, switch gears. I mean, like if you're going up a hill or whatever, it's funny, I'm using that razor blade and I literally have a zip tie cutter, so. Have I bored you guys all to death by now? I, everybody's like, what did you get? Let me see it. Okay, I'm over it. <laughs> I'm just really excited. I was gonna just cut it, cut the stream a minute ago and I thought, you know what? Maybe they wanna see what it looks like when it's all put together. Even though I'm gonna be making videos on it. Okay. What is it? Oh, the display. Oh, I wonder which display I got. Oh, cool. Right on. Okay, so it's gonna be something like that. All right, wow. There's a lot more going on, as you guys can see. You got the headlight, the blinkers, the horn. Does the horn work? Of course not without the battery. Duh, Chris. Display. Okay. You stay right there for a second. Okay. It's probably the same size Allen key. Oh, is it not? Aha. Red line stem. If you guys are familiar with different bike brands. Am I doing this right? Huh. 
feel like this should be facing the other way. Not sure. I don't think it faces towards me. It's too close. Sorry if I'm not talking. I'm talking to myself. Uh, I feel like this stem needs to be facing the other way. Let's see. Okay. Ah. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, looks like I can turn it, because I know from my very primitive knowledge of bikes that this stem has to be out here and the bars go on it as opposed to being back here. But how do I get it to do that? I think Matt over at Sparks uh, sent me a couple things to see how good my knowledge on this whole stuff is. <laughs> Gotta line it up a little bit more. Those guys over there, though, they work on bikes, you know, all day long. That's what they do. And they're like bike wizards. Bike wizards. Okay. Boom. That is going to be epic seat is super nice like I said I have ridden I have rode I've been on a few different um, bandits when I was out on my little East Coast trip so I am familiar um, but I'm very excited to be able to take this thing around here and see how it does I mean obviously it's gonna do great I think I'm gonna try to make it to an LA e-skate ride sometime in the very near future. So if any of you guys uh, see me at any ride with this, just please come up to me. And if you wanna try it out, you're more than welcome. You just have to give me uh, your social security number, driver's license, two credit cards, forms of identification. <laughs> just kidding, just playing. Just don't ride off with it because uh, I don't really own it fully yet. <laughs> all right, so key to installing handlebars is not to screw all the way down any one of the screws, of the bolts. You kind of do it in a uh, X formation. That way they all get seated properly, enough threads. If you just screw one all the way down, then it's gonna it's gonna be lopsided. Look at me sounding like I know what I'm talking about. Okay, so now is a, should I write it? Like, should we do a blue mamba setup? We could have the handlebars like this and be like, yo. <laughs> Shout out to blue mamba, by the way, he's cool. My homie, okay. Wow, these handlebars, they just make the bike feel really big. I'm, of course, used to my low rise bars. These are like, not low rise. Although you saw the other bars in the beginning of this live stream that are over there that another creator will be putting on. This bike, I believe, is going to be the Cafe Racer uh, version of the bike when it's done. So that will be cool. Grips are really nice, too. Okay. Just about done with this. Okay, the setup's coming along. What do you guys think? You guys like the way it looks? Let's see if I can move this darn camera without it shaking you guys crazy. Ah! Sorry. There you go, okay. Ah! Every time I touch the stupid camera on the tripod, it just shakes the hell out of it. Okay, so that's done, that's done. Oh, these guys are gonna have to. Man, this is ship one bike across the country. There's like a whole ton of uh, stuff going on as far as boxes and, and papers and stuff. 
Okay, that does that. Let's see, let's put the batteries on. I know I don't have the pedals on yet, but I just wanna see. Now, how do I know where, okay, I can already tell. This one goes up here. secret you have to turn the handlebars to get it to uh, to seat properly they are not the exact same battery so only one will fit in the you know where it goes this one has a USB uh, a plug though so you can probably plug in like your phone or whatever you need to charge if your GoPro is dead that's pretty cool so I don't forget what keys go where. Put one there. Put one there. It's definitely a bigger, uh, oh. Hey. That is one heck of a horn. Um, bigger than a Super 73R or RX. Um, smaller than the Huck Cycle Stinger 3000. Somewhere in the middle as far as size wise, size goes. Uh, okay, that's for the handlebar, or this. In case you guys are jumping in late, this is a, that's the Cafe Racer, Cafe Racer style handlebars and the headlights that I'm going to be uh, mounting, but don't need that right the second as long as I can put the pedals where the pedals, the pedals. Okay, this is the last thing and then I think I can ride it. <laughs> Try to take you guys for a quick spin. Almost crazy that it's a. Uh... Oh, the headlight's not on it, so they don't need to be on it yet. Okay. Pedals. Pedal uh, knowledge of pedals. There's a left and a right. And you want to do it the correct way. And. I'm gonna have a pedal wrench somewhere in here. In here. Oh, no. You guys, I wanted to be like a super uh, educated bike repair guy. I got all my tools, but I honestly don't really use them very much. Okay, I think this is the pedal wrench. You do not need this. This is absolutely ridiculous unless you or somebody gives it to you for free or you really want one. Um, I usually use a wrench, but I have a guy who's a bike mechanic that lives like two doors down from my house and he hooked me up. So, so of course I said, yes, I'll take it for free. I think he got, he, I think he gets one with like every bike he gets. So get it started. And then Started going. Okay, good. Alrighty then. You guys ever watched a video where Peter Peter Parker had a his his uh, pedal was locked. He had to go down to the shop and get the guy to fix it. I feel your pain. I've tried doing the stomp, kick, drop, drop, kick, everything to get it off before, but luckily. I was able to get it. Okay, other side, and then I think we're good. I guess I didn't even need the pedals. Uh, <laughs> this bike rips. I think I was getting about 40 miles an hour, 42. But now that bike that I rode out there was a dual motor. So it had a front hub motor and a rear. Um, and going up a hill, like the torque, going torque, you guys that are familiar with my channel know I like to say the torque. The torque um, with the dual motor was was crazy. It was, you know, I was able just to hit both and going up a hill, I was able just to rip. Wow, shocks are 
shocking. <laughs> okay. Do I remember how to turn this thing on? Boom. Boom. Is the display connected? Don't know. Oh, do I have to? Yep, this button. Aha! Oh, whoa. I better tighten this baby down. Check your nuts, son. Every time before you go riding, especially on a new bike, you better check your nuts. Don't want to have a uh, a loose nut problem. <laughs> okay, so what do I get? 54.4 volts. Um, it does have different pedal assist modes. Okay, just making sure that full suspension on bikes are uh, is awesome. Let me just say that. Let me just say that real quick. Oh, okay. So, let's see. Whew, baby, there is some torquey torque torque in this sucker. Okay, so we got those gone. Let's make a little room here. How fast was I able to build this bike, huh? <laughs> I've been live for 36 minutes. Okay, 36 minutes to build a Spark Bandit. 19 of you watching, that's quite amazing. Okay, so, quick overcap. Spark Cycle Works out of Branford, Connecticut. Sent me the Bandit. Um, it's their, it's their uh, fat tire electric bike. It's called the Traveling Bandit because it's gonna go to a couple other creators and like I said, hopefully at one point, maybe I can talk Matt into, uh, you know, anyways, coming back to me. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be changing out the rear shocks and some else will be changing out the handlebars. And I believe some other people may be doing some other little mods or just writing it and giving their honest um, opinion. Uh, this is the dual battery, single motor. Um, what else is there? Comes with a headlight which I did not install. The front um, blinkers and rear blinkers. It does have a horn. It does have a seven speed Shimano um, uh, gear system. It also does have rear view mirrors. Now, these are great mirrors because they're big and they, you know, you really get to see what's going on. I, I've had troubles being happy with the way mirrors look. <laughs> so I kind of go for like a single left hand side mirror situation and I'm thinking I for me when I'm riding it I might just flip this baby down and kind of Because basically I like to just be able to look and see if there's a car or a bike or a person as I'm going to the left Otherwise, I do one of those to, to look to the right Okay, so I'm gonna shake your guys's camera again real quick just so I can aim it towards the street and we're gonna give it a quick little a quick little Oh, hey, say what up to Tesla. Got some videos coming on that if you guys weren't here in the beginning of the stream. I have a new carbon fiber dashboard coming from uh, Fusion Motorsports. So that that's going to be awesome. All right. <laughs> this is the street we're on here. Everybody hang tight. Okay, I'm going to pull this sucker out. And hopefully I don't fall. I guess this is the right time to say if you guys are not subscribed to my channel, uh, think about doing so. When I get to when I get to uh, 3,000 subscribers, which we're only like less than 200 away from, um, I'm going to be giving away some Amazon gift cards and some other things. So, I mean, who doesn't want an Amazon gift card, right? Everybody wants that. It's bike. Oh, you guys can't even see the bike straight up. This bike is crazy. Thank you very much. 
Thank you very much, Matthew. Same to you. Yes, it is a beautiful day out here in uh, Southern California. This is Orange County, that's where I live. Uh, I'm currently in San Clemente. We also uh, film a lot in Dana Point. But that, that's the bandit right there. That's the bad mamma jamma. I'm gonna be changing the shocks, but let's, I just wanna, before I actually ride it, um, I just wanna make sure, like I, was I was told y'all, check your nuts. Wanna make sure that everything's tight. By the way, I got that from Shreddy also. Shreddy's the one that taught me to check my nuts, but his was more about ticks. Cause out in a, out in Delaware and Connecticut, I guess they have like these crazy ticks that if they bite you, certain ones, that all of a sudden like you can't eat meat, like you become a, you have to become a vegan or something. Anyway, I don't want, I don't want none of that shit happening to me because I'll bucks with my meat for sure. Oh, okay. See, good thing I'm checking the fenders a little loose. It's funny, my car likes to all of a sudden start making noises sometimes. I think it gets, I think, don't quote me, but I think the car gets jealous when I'm playing with other electric uh, things, such as electric bikes. It starts to make like little venting sounds. It's okay, Tesla, it's okay. It's okay. All right, let's see. Tighten this sucker. I'm actually gonna be taking this for a night ride or a sunset cruise or whatever you want to call it this evening. And I'm going to be filming a video and hopefully get that up tonight or tomorrow. I usually don't post at night too late. Most people are not trying to pump the YouTube algorithm at, at like 9, 30, 10 o'clock Pacific time, as far as at least for, uh, for California. Wow, the, the suspension is awesome. Every time I try a bike with dual suspension, it makes me want to get a bike that has dual suspension, which I do, which is the, um, my Huck, but the Huck is very heavy. Okay, I promise I'm gonna take it for a ride. I got 26 of you guys waiting saying, the hell Chris, fuck checking your nuts, just get up on the bike. But it would be really sad if you guys all watched me just be on the ground. And, okay, last thing before we go here, before I go for the ride at least, is just making sure that these, okay. Disc brakes, yes, it does have disc brakes. If you guys are commenting, I appreciate that. And I apologize that I haven't replied, but it was gonna be very difficult for me to hold the phone and assemble the bike at the same time. I just felt like I would probably not get it done correctly. So there it is, and it's all is glory. So now I can see here. I mean, it says it went 50 miles an hour, but there's no, um, there's no weight on it. So obviously it's, it's a little different, but yep. I got a couple things to adjust, but otherwise this thing is uh, rocking and rolling. So like I said, I'm gonna make a video tonight or this evening, uh, riding around. 
And once again, shout out to you guys over in Connecticut, uh, Teo, Matt, Colin. I'm gonna forget the girl's name that does all the design stuff. Taryn, Taryn, and and the other person, another woman. Anyways, thank you guys. <laughs> so this thing is sick. I'm stoked. I'm super amped that it's here. And um, yeah, hit that like button. See you guys in the next one. Peace.